hey guys welcome back to a new vlog i hope you all are doing really well today's friday today's gonna be a pretty chill day it's raining out sound of rain i woke up a bit early to start fourth wing if you can tell from the title with paperbacks i love that you can take the cover art off i don't know i just like the simplicity of it but i'm gonna spend most of my day reading fourth wing but i did order some caffeineira i got this apricot croissant thing and it's so good and my pistachio latte to be honest i prefer making my own coffee now like i feel like i've perfected it to the t but i just wanted the pistachio one today and i'm gonna read i'm gonna watch an episode of the summer i temporary there better be an episode actually please let there be an episode there is there is i don't know what it is but this show just makes me so happy yeah, the plan. i'm team jeremiah because i'm so over conrad's <laughs> behavior oh they just got caught Cameron just needs to say how he feels like I, I think he needs therapy he needs therapy right can we take a moment for this map because so cool I feel like when there's a map you can really picture like the settings and like where they are now on chapter two I really do like the writing so far this is the war college which I think is so cool and it's called Basquiat and in the beginning you have that famous quote a dragon without its rider is a tragedy a rider without their dragon is dead that is literally everyone book talk so i'm just gonna read another chapter so far so good you vlog camera mine is like in bits wow i didn't know it was possible for me to look like shit like this but it's okay <laughs> little sky she loves these so far guys i'm really liking fourth wing i'm on page 76 chapters so yeah moving on to chapter seven i'm understanding the hype because i'm heating up my lunch well dinner because i didn't have lunch today but anyways there's just action packed in every bit of this book so far with the parapet crossing and then like the sparring so far it's about a it's about a war college and you have like different sections of the college so you have like the scripts i think that's what they were called and then like the healers and then you have the riders i think there's others as well she's getting through all the stages of like qualifying to be a rider and there's like a bunch of stages and you just basically the first stage was the crossing of the parapet and I had to google what the parapet was because I had no idea and now I'm at the bit where like she's just done her sparring thing that was a bit gruesome and she's reading her letters from her brother who was a healer and healers so basically uh, these people can siphon magic from the dragons I think anything with dragons though um, like ever since Game of Thrones like anything dragons like how to train your dragon oh, I love I love so this is like right up my street so far i really like it i really like it i feel like i'm going to finish this very quickly i also recently finished a court of frost and starlight by sarah j mass obviously part of the akatar series and it was an easy read because i just finished aqua war which is a court of wings and bruin don't even ask me how i'm flying through these books it's that good a vlog i know i said i was gonna vlog like the second part but i just i was just enjoying it so much so instead of doing i'm just gonna include some of my reading in my usual vlogs for you guys because i feel like some of you like books but a lot of you don't so it's hard to like see what to post i was feeling a, a very deep void after these books because i cannot let go of favorite and resan's love story because it's just like everything then i picked this up and i was like hang on a minute like I'm actually quite happy with this book and then I'm gonna feel empty again I feel like. I did get the Magnolia Parks um, set because I really like the states covers so I ordered a set on eBay and I don't know if it's gonna actually be it but we'll see. I ordered some new books as well it's so bad it's so bad. I've got so many books to read here like all of that is my TBR but yeah so far I'm really liking it. I'm really like I need to leave a good read review on this. I also have to pick up my suit because I had to go get it tailored for my friends uh wedding tomorrow what's her reception i went to the mendy yesterday which was really really nice and i got to met, meet some of her friends and they're like all really lovely um and i just i'm so i'm also in so much awe of like tradition our traditional wear like asian 
wear because it's just so beautiful like i was admiring everyone's outfit even like when i get to prepare mine i always feel like i saw i, I loved it like i and my friend's mendia outfit oh, it was so nice like it was like pink yellow blue like it was the perfect mendia outfit tomorrow i'm going to be wearing peach so you guys can i might include it in this video or maybe actually no 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 i'm filming a separate like get ready with me i think and the summer term pretty was so good i'm so sad it's over now i don't think i could read the books because people are saying that the books aren't all that but the show is good oh and i also got the makeup by mario um foundation concealer i paid 17 pounds for shipping people because it's not available in the uk i don't know why but i cannot wait to try that and um yeah i think that'll be my next read after fourth wing there's also like Hunting Adeline because I, I um, read Haunting Adeline which was oh my god definitely an experience. Someone was like vlog your reaction to reading Hunting Adeline because that was supposed to be even worse. But yeah if you really like the book content definitely follow me on TikTok because that's where I do like the hauls and the reviews and like reactions. I have been making progress I'm on page 85. <laughs> That just feels like I read nothing but I mean what's all this about Zayden saying she's mine to handle? To be honest when you're mine or she's mine gets thrown around in the book I'm not gonna say I hate it I'm not gonna say it I feel like zayden has got a little something for Violet a glass of wine it's so good says what atos i'm still trying to figure out the names atos hasn't warned you not to get caught alone in the dark with me yet why would she be in the dark with you sir there's way too much tension in here so now the next day i'm actually in the same spot this is like my sacred chair okay um i just put a bit of makeup on because i filmed some tiktok videos and um, my sister's gonna come meet me we're gonna go like do a bit of shopping i need to like get some flats because i'm not wearing heels for the wedding today i've broken my ankle like a few times well i've broken it once sprained it twice the same one so when i wear when i wear heels it's so painful for me like even low heels like i just can't but then also i want flats because my nail polish is ruined on my foot and i don't want my toes out i don't know let's see what we found i'm just gonna go primark and pick something up then we need to pick up my suit and then what else I need oh yeah i need to get like money thank god i'm going for a cut next week because like i don't it's, it's at a stage where it's like it's just dead it's saturday and i woke up at like 7 a.m or 8 a.m i don't even know okay i need to go i didn't have time to make a coffee i'm getting this cardigan because with this weather i need one and then this t-shirt it's boiling and I haven't had breakfast yet, so I got this. Croissant. Do you want some? It's so good. I'm going to put a sauce in it. Managed to do a quick shot. I got some prawns. I actually went for this cheesecake, the goo cheesecake. It's so good. Some salad. Then I like to get these soup things for work. This one's by Bowl. It's their coconut lentil turmeric dal. One. It's so good. And then I'm gonna try the soulful one pot. It's th thigh red vegetable curry in a pot. They're just easy and convenient and healthy. It's now the next day. I didn't really vlog anything from the wedding yesterday. To be honest, I'm, I don't. I try not to because I'm considerate of like you know family members and people around. So. I keep content to a minimum. I'm just in the moment as well. I just want to enjoy it. And it was magical. My friend's reception was magical, honestly. And it was so emotional. I just got home, spent some time with hubby, and then went to bed quite late, to be honest. So I'm a bit tired. And I've been reading all the way, and it's so good, guys. I literally want to spend the day reading. I want to read a few more chapters and do, like, some bits here and there, prepare my work clothes for tomorrow, because tomorrow it's office day tomorrow it's been a busy week but i feel like the next few weeks are going to be chill until it picks up again because september is where everything picks up again so yeah what am i going to do oh, yeah we're going to order wing stop and then i'm going to read <laughs> I 
I cannot with this book anymore, it's getting too good. It's definitely a slow burn and you know when the two people like resist each other through like the whole damn book and then they finally give in to it, it's so good. He said, Zayden says, there's nowhere in existence you could go that I wouldn't find you violence. Stop it. I'm vlogging on my phone so the quality is probably really shit right now and the power Violet has that's insane but things are good and when things are good something shitty happens so yeah I'm just gonna continue reading I'm just having a quick snack because I need to clean I'm watching Monet's vlog I do love her like I feel like she's the creator at the moment but yeah yesterday I got home so late like it was almost 2am because we went to go watch a late um, seance of uh, look at me or no talk to me oh my god it was so creepy like 9 out of 10 horror film like it's so worth the hype and it was created by some like former youtubers insane if you like horror films go watch that I don't even know if this vlogs all over the place I've still progressed through fourth wing I'm towards the end guys and it's breaking my heart because i love the book so much it's so good all i want to do is read just just give me cuddles just give me cuddles i'm supposed to be going to film right now you don't try to post every day and i try to stay consistent oh there she goes i try to i try to guys look at these stretch marks on my arms i know like it's normal but why does it have to be on my arm like that it's only on one arm make it make sense Let's not even talk about my butt because my butt is like a whole zebra. But yeah, I'm gonna have my sister over tomorrow and it's a mess. There's makeup everywhere. I mean, that is way cleaner. I don't understand how people like keep their homes spotless because uh, I'm bad. This just makes me so happy, my reading corner. I need to do the dishes now, fun. Fun. Hey guys, it's Friday. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm working from home. My sister's gonna come later. It's gonna be, I mean, work's gonna be a bit busy because I've got so much to do, but I'm gonna, how much I have left. What am I supposed to do myself? I literally couldn't put it down, but then I started getting tired yesterday. You know what thing, something I've clocked on though? Are we forgetting Dane's powers and the fact that he keeps touching Violet's face? Like everything that went down, you know, everything that went down between Violet and Zayden, the next day, Dane touches her, cups her cheek. Are you gonna tell me he didn't see everything? Are you gonna tell me? I really can't stand Dane. And Iron Flame, so which is the second book in this, is coming out in November. I'm gonna have to reread it again before the book comes out. There's so many good releases this year. I don't know what to read next. But this is this this was definitely worth all the hype. This was this is just so good, guys. So yeah, I've ordered a croissant. I'm gonna make my coffee read it like a chapter and then work this is actually if you check on goodreads i think this is like number seven in the highest rated books it's giving a mixture of divergent game of thrones yeah, divergent and game of thrones but where are the powers oh if this i keep thinking if this was like a film i think one day they'll make it a film because it's got too much hype if they're making akata if they're making the akata series a film then this one day will be a film i really want to get the one where like the you have the black edges and the dragons but i don't know if i can get that we'll see i need to get a new vlog camera i'm not feeling this one how am i vlogging and it's not even 4k everyone watches in 4k now my skin's looking not too bad that's because i've been eating healthier <laughs> Judy's live. That's me right now with my coffee. Just filmed a review for the Makeup by Mario foundation concealer. You guys have probably seen it if it's because it'll probably be up before this vlog. So yeah, I'm gonna have a meeting right now and then I need to get food, maybe clean up my mess. Also film some videos for my booktop account, which I'm literally loving. I have so much fun on there because it's like not as serious, you know? I'm very, very productive today. And bubble tea. Hi, can I get a regular uh, white peach with apple? No, no ice. Hard please. I'm going to the works. I'm going to the works. There's too much to choose from. 
three pounds. This cover is so cool. Are you in the store? It's huge. It's huge. I'm literally, I'm literally in heaven right now. This no, it's not what you like. No, it's more like fresh. They literally have everything. Aisha, look at the ice cream. Pandan. No, no. No, no, I can't contain myself. What's that? Wow, look at that. There's fresh pandan cake. It's so hungover. And my hair is oily. I've got kimchi people kimchi we love eating kimchi i wanted to try this it's grape soda and it was like all the way in the back so i feel like everyone gets it so i just kind of i got vietnamese condensed milk coffee ice and they said the whole thing's milk condensed milk so i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna like this uh, Huh? It's okay. I feel like because I told her to put less sweetness, it's not sweet. Really? Actually, it's not bad because it's not sweet. It's okay. I would I would rate it like a six out of ten. Okay, so now we're on our way to have lunch. It's actually like two thirty, so it's a late. dead here like there's no one but it's so pretty this is where we had our wedding lunch i got the t-bone steak hubby got the steak and lobster i was not feeling anything fish today but my food oh my god so much and this is hubby's and this sauce jalapeno sauce is so good things casually landing over there so good when you see it up close like that but, uh, um i finally finished fourth wing which is insane like guys i feel empty i feel empty like book talk was so accurate with the hype that was in this book i loved every bit of it i mean anything dragon i almost want like li little mini dragon tattoos i even want like star kind of like starlight tattoos for like aquamath i can't explain like how these books make me feel like they make me feel so happy it did end on a cliffhanger there's gonna be some sort of revolution and i was kind of, as soon as i don't want to give any spoilers but if you, like skip this bit if you guys are thinking of reading it but when someone came in the book like i kind of guessed it when like they needed someone to take care of uh violet we lost someone and that was heartbreaking i had literally a tear just a tear i've never like bawled out whilst reading that's never happened to me but yeah i've no i've only had like a shed a tear like last time i shed a tear was it ends with us at the end and then here like when the tragedy happened in fourth wing and you the whole like quote from the fourth wing like makes sense now it's very action-packed and i really like that very fast paced but you kind of lack a bit of character development for some of the characters in the book you have like everyone on Zayden's side with relics like all these characters and you know nothing about them Rhiannon is cute like I love Rhiannon and um Violet's friendship but we only we don't really know much about Rhiannon so yeah and also I think there should be like dual point of view and also I hope that in Iron Flame we have dual point of views because at the end we finally get Zayden's point of view and I feel like we should have had that throughout the whole book because it would be nice to have his point of view um so I hope in the next book and I just hope I hope because we're forgetting this is the first book I hope that Xayden doesn't become the bad guy. I, can we just keep him as like the good boyfriend? I cannot afford another tampon. Dane is a dickhead, like I cannot stand him. And I love how Violet's so upfront about her feelings towards Xayden. And even though he's not as, you know, honest, it kind of looks like or feels like Violet's kind of running after him. But she's a confident bitch. She knows what she wants and she's going to go out and get it. And I feel like she has enough character to stand her ground if she is her or not. I hope, I still hope she gets back with Zayden and Zayden stops being a dick and just like opens up to her. And the dragons, the dragons are, they're just so 
vital to the story they play such an important role and i really like that and i love their personality the amount of times i've giggled because of tarn's comments i cannot wait for iron flame i'll probably reread fourth wing again and yeah it was a five star read it was five star read because i feel empty let me get the book i've just been doing a bit of cleaning i feel like i spent my life cleaning so i've started one dark window by Rachel Gilling. I saw a few people on TikTok say that this this is better than Fourth Wing. I don't know what to say. I didn't even. I don't even know what it's about. I don't like reading a blurb. I don't know why. I just don't. I don't feel any connection when I read a blurb. I've just gone into this blindly, and hopefully, it's really good. I was supposed to read Powerless by Lauren Roberts, but that's gonna wait for another day. Another book I really want to start is Mangolia Parks. That's my knee right there, guys. <laughs> Um, by Jessa Hastings. Apparently this is really good. So I don't know. And I also got the... Um, this is actually not the first one. But yeah, I got the original covers, which I love. I got them from eBay. I did my heatless curls, but to be honest, they might be a fail because I put them in last night and I don't know why, like, it wasn't sitting properly and it was tugging at my hair. I did it too tight. But this time I, I had already put, like, some flexible holding foam and stuff, so hopefully it should hold. But yeah, just don't do it too tight, but they're not too loose. It's like a fine line in between. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's probably gonna look... I just did a quick blow dry just to help the curls stay in place because I'm not doing it overnight. My hair's super long at the moment. It's really hard to manage, but I just love the look of long hair and also since i've watched <laughs> since since reading fourth wing and like everyone has their hair cut short but then violet is that bad b with the long ass hair i don't want to cut my hair now i refuse to cut it the best thing as well is looking up fan art on book talk after you finished reading a book very accurate very spot on can you guys tell that I love reading. One thing I love doing right now is making videos for my book talk. <laughs> if you can hear the washing machine, that's my washing machine, yes. It's noisy as hell. I'm so over it. One thing I also wish that we had in this flat is a dishwasher. I absolutely hate doing the dishes. The dishes, like me and Harvey try and like split it between us two. And to, to be honest, most of the week he's doing it and like the weekend it's like more for me, but it's like, I hate doing it so much. And we can't, there's not space, there's no space to put in a dishwasher. So next next place we're in, we are definitely getting a dishwasher. I don't care. I don't care if it's out in the open in the kitchen, we're getting a dishwasher. Because I actually, I just, I can't think of anything worse to do. And the second thing is washing the bathroom. The scrubbing, the scrubbing the shower, the lime scale. But then there's nothing better than having a beautiful, crisp, clean bathroom. <laughs> adulting someone lied someone lied you know when you're young and you rush to be an adult but then you're there and you're like what the fuck like anyways i'm gonna end the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog it's probably all over the place so i'm gonna you guys love the vlogs so i'm gonna keep vlogging so yeah i hope you guys have a wonderful bank holiday weekend and i will see you later bye